Hey survivors and thrivers, in this video I am going to be talking about narcissists and their toxic negative energy. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsvivorcoaching at gmail.com. Check out the new Narcsviver merchandise. We have premium quality t-shirts and mugs which are now available to order. The link is in the video description. Narcissists drain the life out of you. As an empath or highly sensitive person, you will immediately sense the energy of a person or group of people. You will immediately sense the vibe of a room or place. Because of this sensitivity, you will pick up the negative energy of narcissists or toxic people. This will cause you to experience a complex mix of emotions. Narcissists possess a toxic, negative energy. It is not something that they have created, as energy cannot be created or destroyed. Energy can only be transferred or changed from one form to another. When you interact with a narcissist, this negative energy can be transferred onto you. When you are in close proximity of a narcissist, again this negative energy can be transferred onto you. Narcissists are masters of manipulation, so they can disguise this negative energy for a short period of time by orchestrating a display or an illusion of positivity. They know how to plan or coordinate the elements of a situation to produce a desired effect. So although the narcissist is very negative and toxic, for a short period of time they could fool you into believing that they are positive people. You may notice this during the love bombing phase. As trusting people we overlook the red flags and try to see the good in them, but as time goes by they only get worse. Once they have secured you as a source of supply, the relationship will move to the devaluation phase. And then they will get lazy and no longer put in the work to orchestrate the false display or illusion to fool you. You don't even have to be in a relationship with a narcissist to absorb this negative energy. Something as simple as an interaction with them or even being in close proximity will be enough to affect you. Sexual contact is more than just a physical act. Any form of sexual contact will transfer energy to and from you. Sexual contact c can provide you with energy that will either empower you or drag you down to a level of misery and pain which would have been previously unimaginable. I never really understood how this could affect my energy until I had sex with an ex-narcissist and suddenly felt as though I just had the life drained out of me. This is how dangerous negative energy can be to your emotional and psychological health. And this wasn't something that just went away. It continued to get worse each day until I then attempted suicide. I have looked into this and found that it is normal to experience sadness after sex. There isn't much information on this, although I would believe that it has, it has something to do with energy, repression or conditioning. 
but even just by being in close proximity or interacting with a narcissist that's enough to exchange energy with them our energy fields expand far outside of our bodies so just by being in the, in the same room as a narcissist that is enough for their energy to affect you you will notice that it will affect your mood and productivity everything has an energy we have a choice whether we choose to entertain energies which are positive or negative narcissists choose to entertain negative energy they find amusement or enjoyment in things which are of a negative nature they have an interest in things that are of a low emotional vibrational frequency anger desire fear grief apathy guilt and shame from their desire comes a feeling of being incomplete which feeds into their pathological envy and jealousy they cannot bear to hold these emotions or reflect on them so they will try to project these emotions onto you narcissists have become familiar with feelings of worthlessness and insignificance inferiority dissatisfaction and unfulfillment emotional abuse and manipulation devaluation and degradation humiliation and exploitation pathological lying and cheating those are the actions and behaviors that narcissists have become familiar with it has become habitual it has become routine it is something they do constantly so it has become a part of their character and personality it has become a lifestyle it is a way of living for them this is something they engage in daily all of their thoughts and emotions feed into these negative actions and behaviors these actions and behaviors then dominate the narcissist's character and personality their thoughts and emotions feed into this negative energy the negative energy comes from whatever they are consistently thinking or feeling and most often they are thinking or feeling something of a negative nature they are always thinking about something negative whether towards them some themselves or someone else this causes them to be out of harmony they are unable to experience any peace love or joy the negative energy prevents any growth or change negative energy is like a black hole it sucks them in and then they don't know how to get out of it it starts off with them entertaining negative thoughts and feelings which then leads to actions and behaviors which creates an addiction and becomes a lifestyle as they interact with other people it can pull them into this negative way of thinking and feeling these thoughts and feelings are very contagious even positive people can be pulled into this way of being unless they remove themselves from the situation but if they continue to stay around it and entertain this negative energy they will become a part of it many people wonder how smear campaigns are formed and how people who once seemed happy or positive were pulled into this way of acting and behaving I believe this is how smear campaigns develop they entertain the negative energy the negative thoughts and feelings 
and this then leads to actions and behaviors which creates an addiction and becomes a lifestyle. Negative thoughts become a part of our human energy field. So if a person entertains these negative thoughts, that is what the person becomes. The energy field expands far outside of the human body. This is why as an empath or highly sensitive person, you are able to immediately sense the energy of a room or place. People who entertain negative energy fields and allow the negative thoughts and feelings to become a part of them will get sucked into it. The negative thoughts and feelings will then lead to the, the actions or behaviors and now they're no different to the narcissist. It's not so much about what the narcissist gets sucked into as much as it is what they choose to entertain. They entertain thoughts and feelings that are of a consistent nature, whether they are towards themselves or someone else. The negative thoughts and feelings change the form of the energy to something negative. We naturally move away from pain and towards pleasure. This includes narcissists. Narcissists naturally move away from what they associate with pain and move towards what they associate with pleasure. At some point they chose to identify negative actions and behaviors with pleasure. Emotional abuse and manipulation, devaluation and degradation, humiliation and exploitation, pathological lying and cheating. This became pleasure to them as it allowed them to regulate their sense of worth and their emotions. We have a choice of whether we want to entertain positive or negative thoughts about ourselves or other people. We have a choice whether we want to look for positive or negative things in a certain situation. Whether we are looking for something positive or negative we will find it. If you have the thought that you are a lucky person, you will then look for evidence that you are a lucky person. This will then lead to positive emotions. These positive thoughts and emotions will then lead to actions and behaviors which could, could produce positive results that resonate with the original thought. The thought that you are a lucky person. If this is done consistently, where positive thoughts and emotions are leading to actions or behaviors which produce positive results, it is going to become ingrained into your belief system, which is a set of mutually supportive beliefs. What happens with the narcissist is that they entertain negative thoughts, whether they are about themselves or someone else. The narcissist may have a negative thought about you. They may think that you are better than them or you hate them. These thoughts come from their own self-hatred. And from these thoughts, they will then look for evidence that you are better than them or that you hate them. These negative thoughts then lead to negative emotions. These negative thoughts and emotions then lead to actions or behaviors. Where the narcissist may project their feelings of worthlessness or insignificance onto you. Through devaluation, degradation, humiliation, exploitation, or some form of manipulation. Which will then provoke a negative reaction from you and fulfill the original thought that the narcissist had about you. 
The narcissist's negative thoughts and emotions led to actions and behaviors which produced negative results. It became a, a self-fulfilling prophecy. It satisfied the original thought that the narcissist had about you. And done consistently, this will become ingrained in, into the narcissist's belief system. It is a self-fulfilling prophecy which directly causes itself to become true due to negative feedback between the narcissist's belief and their behavior. And this is what makes this behavior so contagious among everyone these narcissists come into contact with. This is how smear campaigns and things like gang stalking are able to develop. Because these types of people are gravitating towards these negative energy fields and entertaining these negative thoughts and emotions. Until they continuously change their negative thoughts, they will stay in this condition and repeat the same thoughts, emotions, actions, and behaviors again and again and again with no end. We think somewhere between 60,000 and 80,000 thoughts a day. And as many as 98% of these thoughts are recycled from the day before. And every day these narcissists are repeating the same negative thoughts which keep them stuck in this condition of negativity. Affecting everyone that they come into contact with. Positive people cannot remain in a healthy state around these types of people. The negative energy pulls them down to a lower vibration. It produces negative emotions even within people who are once positive. For the narcissist to remove this energy, they would have to stop doing what they are doing for a consistent amount of time. The problem is they don't do this. They continue repeating the same thoughts, feelings, actions and behaviors. And they even find enjoyment or amu amusement in doing this, which is what creates the addiction. So they remain in this toxic negative state and nothing ever changes. Thank you for watching. If you would like to remove this negative energy from your energy field, please check out my playlist on healing from narcissistic abuse. The steps which I have listed in those videos will help you to remove this energy. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, please contact me at narcissivercoaching at gmail.com. You can get your own Narcissiver t-shirt or mug from our Teespring page. The link is in the video description. The t-shirts are of a premium quality, made from 100% super soft premium cotton. And the mugs have a really cool design. So if you would like to have a Narc Fiber t-shirt or mug of your own, just click the link to our Teespring page in the video description. That's all for this video. Talk to you soon.